Anime Anime, an online Japanese news outlet, recently did an interview with Masakazu Morita, the voice actor for Ichigo for the 8th anniversary of the mobile and console game Bleach Brave Souls, and I thought I'd do a little breakdown of the interview. Just to give a little context for those who might not be familiar, Bleach Brave Souls is a free-to-play PvE and PvP video game available on mobile platforms as well as console with over 75 million downloads. The author of Bleach, Kubo Sensei himself, has provided original costume and character designs only available in the game, which is one of the many reasons for its popularity. As a voice actor for the main character, Morita has been involved with the game for the past 8 years which he has really enjoyed doing, and also shared that thanks to Brave Souls, he never forgot the feeling of playing Ichigo, and it was a really smooth transition into voicing Ichigo for the anime. This is after the anime had been on hiatus for several years, finally returning last year with the first part of the Thousand Year Blood War arc. Morita describes that just having the voice isn't enough. Having the feeling and understanding of the character also massively contributes to a great performance because Bleach is a story of Ichigo's growth, and the other cast members have also shared a similar sentiment about their roles. Following Morita's comment about Bleach being a coming-of-age story for Ichigo, he is asked if there is an Ichigo that he likes the most. Morita explains that at each major breakpoint in Ichigo's story, whether it's becoming a Shinigami substitute, or challenging the Gotei 13 and so on, Morita grew to like Ichigo even more, and so his favorite version of Ichigo is the current version. Morita feels as if he hasn't reached his ideal voice for Ichigo even after years of voicing him, but with the current season being the last possible opportunity to voice Ichigo in the anime, he wants to get to the final form as much as possible. Morita attributes a lot of Bleach's charm to the fact that it's Kubo Sensei's design and story, and that although many times it's possible for the folks behind the scenes of an anime to get worn out from pushing more and more content, Bleach didn't suffer from that issue because Kubo Sensei was at the forefront. Subscribe for more and let me know if you enjoy seeing content like this and what else you'd like to see.